The 2017 wildfire season in Missoula County was one of the most severe in recent history, and we needed to open up our emergency operations call center to take pressure off 911. We brought in RSVP volunteers that are coordinated through the Missoula Aging Services. Okay, Rice Ridge is gonna be the major concern today. And had those folks answer phones to provide timely and accurate information to people that were severely impacted by these fires. Missoula County Fire Information Line, this is Sue. How may I help you? Well, you know, when there's an emergency like this, you feel somewhat helpless. You, you don't know what you can do, but you want to do something to help. So when I got the call from RSVP, I thought, you know, this is something that I could really, really get into. Once you pass a checkpoint, you're not able to get back in. For me, it's a way to give back to my friends and neighbors and, and, and to the town of Missoula. And in conspicuous areas. I mean, we get good training when we come in. Uh, Judy or Nick are updating us on what the current fire conditions are. They show us the maps and we know exactly what's going on and we can consult our screens. And so between the computer screen, the whiteboard and the walls, we've got updated maps, updated air quality and information that we can have right at our fingertips to answer just about every single question that comes in. I know that I'm helping when I answer the phone and I have a person on there who's who's confused or concerned, I can give them the accurate information and feel like I can calm them down a little bit. So it gives you a sense of accomplishment. When you go home, you've actually done some good for your community. People were so appreciative and the need was acute and urgent. I'm very glad to have been a part of this. Uh, increase an expansion of the evacuation order zone. We received a lot of positive feedback from Missoula residents who called the fire information line. They expected a recorded message, but they got an actual person, and that meant a lot to them. Missoula County employees also gave us a lot of positive feedback because they knew where to send people who were asking them questions. Hi guys, welcome back here. We're here with uh, Judy Douglas and Nancy uh, Silliman, and you guys are here to talk about Senior Core RSVP. And that was an example of some of the uh, RSVP uh, volunteering that, that a lot of seniors from Missoula Agent Services do during, uh, let's say, a, a fire season. So, but it's yeah. just, it's more than that. What is RSVP? RSVP is a program um, it's a program of Senior Corps, and Senior Corps is sponsored by Missoula Aging Services. And so Senior Corps helps Missoula Aging Services fulfill their mission of promoting the independence, dignity, and health of older adults and those who care for them. So it does that through volunteerism. There are three programs of Senior Corps. Um, there's the foster grandparent program and um, they tutor children in the schools and last year we tutored seven, 376 wow. students that were um, underdeveloping and, and we helped them succeed. That's great. So yeah. And then we also have a program um, called Senior Companions and last year we helped 162 members of our community maintain their independence in their homes um, through that program. So those two programs um, are ve very valuable. And so I run the RSVP program, um, and that is the third part of Senior Corps. And what we do is we partner with about 60 entities in the community. Mm -hmm. um, they could be um, not, they're not all pro nonprofits. There, some of them are the, like the police station, right. and um, and we help them. We, we uh, recruit volunteers for them so that um, that we can keep them going. And you know, the the senior core RSVP program has two functions. It's really to get older adults active in the community and active in their lives and feeling part of the community. And it also helps to boost the um, local community. Cool. And, yeah. So Nancy, uh, how long have you been with the RSVP program? 
Six years. You've been there with six years, and you've probably done a little bit of everything, right? I have. I've done short-term uh, commitments and long-term commitments, um, including this year spending one morning a week at the Missoula Interfaith Collaborative, uh, which has Missoula Works, uh, a job search program for people, and uh, Family Promise, where they make provisions for homeless families to have a place to stay and to eat and to, to spend their days and to prepare for their future. I also volunteer at Porter Middle School Ooh. Library and I get my exercise there and <laughs> I also volunteer one morning or one afternoon a week at Russell School uh, assisting in a fifth grade classroom. Great. So uh -huh. um, we saw you in that video. Uh, yes, you were, uh, that was a short term. And you were, uh, you guys were talking about part of the uh, fire season, and you also mentioned that you guys work with many organizations. And during our pre-interview, you were actually talking about uh, um, American Red Cross. What, what can you tell me about your partnership with the American Red Cross? So this season, in pre preparation for the fire season, um, we have the call center ready to go. Now we want to get the shelter situation ready to go because the Red Cross needs trained volunteers that are vetted and trained before a disaster strikes. So we are helping them. Um, they are holding a training on May 5th and anybody who would like to be trained for that so that they could be um, on call, so to speak, in case we have to open a shelter because shelters are opened at a minute's notice and we don't have time to vet and train volunteers so we want to do that before we want to be prepared right and i know that uh um, Mizzou asian services is really good about bringing experts down to your guys' facility to uh, talk to uh, members of Mizzou Asian Services and the community as well uh, for people of 55 or older um, specifically. Um, what can you guys tell me about, uh, are there any special uh, courses or special classes that uh, you have to take to be in Senior Corps? You just have to, the requirements are you have to be 55 or older and you have to fill out an application and and that's it. And, wow. and what I like to do is I like to interview people because there are a lot of jobs out there and I like to match the person with the perfect job that right. will that will enrich their life. And yeah. that's the goal. Perfect. Yeah. Um, that, that's simple. You're 55 and older, sign an application, they talk with you, Judy, yes. and they're just like, yeah, this would be a good fit for you. Yeah. It's that simple. Absolutely. Was, was it that easy for you? It was. I went for the interview and I left with a commitment for two mornings a week, <laughs> oh. six years ago. And you and, and you and you love it still? I do. I like the long term quite a lot. Uh, I, it engages me on a regular basis with society, with life, and it structures my week just enough. It exposes me to time, which I love, with uh, other generations. Uh, but the short term suits some other people more so, and I do some of that too. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I helped at a Red Cross blood drawing on behalf of RSVP. Mm -hmm. So uh, I retired from a job, not from society. <laughs> <laughs> so right. I would like to talk a little bit more about um, long term versus short term. Okay. So long term commitments are weekly commitments, like you show up once a week. And they can add a lot of structure to your um, week, and a lot of people like those. Other people like to have to be like um, notified of upcoming events that need help, and that's the short term. And I have a people on my short term list, so if I get um, an opportunity like um, folding T-shirts for the uh, riverbank run or collating for a fundraiser or um, doing an event like bar bar uh, the barbecue for veterans, mm -hmm. um, I send out um, an explanation of the job through email and people just sign up or they they don't. So it's, um, it's totally up to you what kind of commitment uh, right. you would like to. So yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's as simple as, you know, just like putting yourself out there um, being on there and then of course being on a, a call list and be like hey if you want to help out with this thing that's happening great if you can't 
it's no big deal. Yes, that's right. It's an email list, so we don't call, but we email. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and of course, uh, where can people find more information about Senior Corps and RSVP? By calling Missoula Aging Services at 728-7682 and ask for Judy or Laura or Adrian, and we would be happy to match you with your perfect opportunity. Right, and to find more information about Missoula Agent Services, you go to missoulaagentservices.org. You can find all the contacts, all the programs, and more by logging on to this website. All right, guys, is there anything else you guys want to mention before we wrap up? I think we're good then. Great. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you guys um, coming down and joining me this morning.